<laughs> well, welcome back. Chef Mark McKinney joins us today from UT Medical Center with a delicious pork tenderloin recipe and also getting ready for New Year's Day. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hope Thanks you had for a, having us. Absolutely. What do you got going here? Well, we got a few things going on. We're doing Hoppin' John's, which are... Good luck. Good luck with yeah. the black-eyed peas, but we're we're making them just a little bit healthier, and then we have a lean pork tenderloin. So, let's talk about the Hoppin' John's. Hoppin' John's are kind of a, a southern thing. They originated in Charleston. Um, rice, black-eyed peas, pretty simple dish. So, what we have is a couple of things going on. We've got our pan preheated. I'm going to throw in some onions and peppers and celery. A little bit of garlic. We're going to kind of sweat this down. We're going to kind of build the body of our dish here okay. with these aromatics. So these would cook down for seven, eight minutes until they get kind of nice and golden brown. And then we'll add our black-eyed peas. Now normally these would be dry at this point. Um, these have been par cooked already. And we're going to use chicken stock okay. to cook the black-eyed peas. You can use water if you want to or if you're vegetarian and you want to use um, uh, vegetable stock, something like that, you can do that. We also have some smoked turkey breasts that we're going to put in for a little smoky flavor. The ham hocks are good, but they're kind of fatty and right. using that lean turkey breast will help with that a little bit. So this will cook for a little while. We'll throw in a bay leaf, some dried thyme, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and we're just going to let this simmer. Now, usually Hoppin' John's is white rice. We're using brown because we want to get more of the whole grain, so that's okay. going to help our diet a little bit. Really low in fat, pretty low in sodium. Now, the other part of this dish we're doing is we have this citrus balsamic marinated pork tenderloin. Now, the tenderloin is lean. It, uh, instead of using a lot of salt and a lot of fat and things like that, we're using citrus. So, the thing that I like to do, which is pretty common, I think, in a lot of households, is using the gallon bag. I've already got the oil, some herbs, garlic, salt, pepper, things like that in there. I'm just going to take some lemon some orange. We also have our vinegar already in there. Man. I'm going to put all this in and I like to, when I'm using fruit to marinate or citrus to marinate, I just throw the whole thing in there. I mean, I don't just really, leave it. Yeah, just yeah. wash it first, leave it in there. And using these Ziploc bags, you don't have to go through the process of turning it in the right. casserole dish and all that. And you just kind of squeeze all the air out of it and you can let this marinate overnight. It'll really a good idea. pick up a lot of those flavors. Out you, of must be a you must be a chef. I've cooked once or twice, I guess. Um, so, Yowzas. over here, we take the pork, we sear it in the pan, flip it over, we've got a nice golden color on this, and this will go in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And when it comes out, we have this wow. nice roasted pork tenderloin. We've got our black-eyed peas going over here. Uh, once the peas have cooked, we add a little bit of brown rice, and that'll continue to simmer. And just soak up some of that chicken stock. And then with Look our finished this. product, we have Look at that. the Hoppin' Johns with the pork loin. We can oh. just take this pork. We want to cook it to about 160, and then let it rest. If you cut any kind of protein when you're cooking it, when you pull it off the heat, you yeah. don't let it rest. You cut into it, a lot of those juices will start flowing out. Yeah. And you'll lose a lot of that tenderness. The, the proteins need a little time to cool off. Uh, when proteins heat, they kind of tighten up like a spring. So you learn something new every you need day. Protein. I didn't know that. That's what? delicious. How I did the segment, and you guys come in here and, and to reap eat. the benefit. Yeah. Well, well done. That's how it works. Well, well, I'm giving. Green onions. Oh, Look at that. that. Was fantastic. Are you kidding so, me? Recipes like this and more in our in our cookbook, Recipe for Life, utmedicalcenter.org. It's available That's in the great, gift shop too. online and as an e-reader. We do cooking classes. We do grocery store tours. Yeah. All you got to do is log on and check us out. I know they're glad to have we'll you. We'll be glad to, glad to show you some healthy ways to eat. Perfect. Perfect. Thank All you, right. Chef. We'll be right back after this.